Solar Impulse, the airplane that flew around the world with no fuel, just on solar power, that was a symbol of what you can do with solar energy and energy efficiency. It's a symbol. It was not there to revolutionize, to revolutionize aviation. But Climate Impulse, my new project, is clearly here to show how you can make a revolution for aviation. It's a hydrogen-powered airplane with liquid green hydrogen stored in the two fuselage. And the goal is to fly around the world non-stop with two people on board. It will be a flight of eight days. And if you can do that, it's really a way to show that aviation can continue the disruptive innovation that it has always done since 1903 and show the way to a modern, clean and decarbonized world. So in our case, we're going to use about 20 cubic meters of green liquid hydrogen that you keep at minus 253 degrees. A little bit is evaporating, it's called the boil off, and it goes through the fuel cell to produce electricity and water. And the electricity goes in the electric motor to run the propeller, and the water can be drunk by the pilot. So you have a completely decarbonized way of flying, and of course, this is an eight-day flight with two people on board, but the goal for commercial aviation is not eight days for two people, it's much more 200 people for two hours, three hours. But we're showing that if we can do the most, you can do the least. It's, you know, it's the ultimate flight around the world, but of course, commercial aviation can use and benefit from exactly the same technology to carry a lot of people, but on a shorter flight. You know, the, the main observation that I've done about climate change is the completely erratic and unreliable uh, statistic for weather. When we wanted to prepare solar impulse, there was absolutely no data that we could use. It's changing all the time. You are supposed to be in good weather at that period of the year, and it's raining and windy or it's normally raining and windy and you have good weather. So basically, it took us a lot more time to fly around the world with solar impulse because we're stuck by bad weather all the time. And sometimes for a stopover, we waited one month before having the right weather to continue. So with climate impulse, we will fly differently. We'll fly closer to the equator. We'll fly at 3,000 meters altitude, 10,000 feet, faster than solar impulse and uh, we don't need any pressurization, and we don't need to be clear uh, of clouds. We can fly under the clouds because it's hydrogen, it's not solar.